Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where today actually I went into work and then it got called immediately due to weather. So I'm just playing I'm playing video games all day. And just hoping that I'm not gonna bother anyone <laughs> as per usual because I'm paranoid. <sighs> but yo this is I'm excited also I just found out so I did actually check um, while this scrolls through I did check my old Mass Effect 2 video um, with this character and uh, that is the decision I made was to destroy the genophage um, I also got some coffee because I didn't sleep at all last night so I really wish <laughs> I really wish they just canceled it earlier but I understand why they didn't they just weren't sure what the weather conditions were gonna be out there but I'm exhausted, so I'm drinking a coffee, which could be bad, or good, <laughs> or both. But it's also probably too much coffee, honestly. I should probably only have like half of that. But yeah, I don't know. oh, I started watching the old video. That is the decision I made. Also, it's incredible the difference in voice. I sound much younger and way more enthusiastic but that's because I could be I didn't realize my volume I basically talk like Naruto <laughs> where he's just constantly yelling there's no there's no there's no decibel control it's just me going <laughs> but that's because I'm enthusiastic so I can't can't fault myself too much but it is a significant difference between <laughs> videos right now and videos I don't even know when that playlist went up honestly um, should we do char or pull rather? I'm trying to write a mass effect. I mean, I don't use these very often. Is <laughs> I mean, I just use charge all the freaking time. I should maybe save up for shockwave though. That is why one of the reasons I chose this character chose this uh, the vanguard ability is this for the shockwave. So we'll wait on that. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, though, I feel bad. I feel bad. We need to maybe do other ones, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm, you know what? Let's go talk to Thane. And then we will do Kasumi's. Because we've had Kasumi. Commander, you oh. received a new message at your private Thank terminal. Thank you. We've had Kasumi's for a while. <laughs> I can't believe even here on Cerberus, this highly encrypted ship, I'm getting spam. Oh my goodness. Therapy. Oh, this is that guy from Mass Effect 1, the Volus. Um, who was the only survivor after the Rachni got through, um... No, much not Vermeer. Um, hmm, not Vold either. I play. I've been playing Andromeda recently, but it's an ice planet. Uh, they say you're alive. They cheated death. That sending you. This isn't just a pointless exercise. It's part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill. My information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me, not her? Why'd you show up then and not before? They think they can fix me, but maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance and the rack and I ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. Isn't that like, just like a, like a punch in the gut? Like, oh my gosh. Um, oh yeah, from the shaman or <laughs> I hate these things, but you'll need to hear this. Okay, boomer. Uh, you're part of Grant's Krant, Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your vat-grown grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than most have on this ball of rock. So bring him back from your dang mission. My people need him, and if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Oh, okay. I don't want to get Kurgan, Kurgan, I can't talk, Krogan peed on in my grave. Uh, wait, no. Go top. Oh, first I need to go feed my fish. Make sure they're still alive. 
They're dead. I killed all my fish. <laughs> no. I did too many missions. I did too many missions. No. My 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 selection my ship collection is going along well. At least. At least you're impervious to death, my immortal hamster. Lean out of cover. I still. I can poke my head, but I don't know how to lean. I don't think you can. Shepard. What's up? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk mm -hmm. about. Shh, hang on, I was picking up my coffee. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I hate to watch you go. I had a family. <laughs> I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Yeah, like, wow, like what a, what a bomb. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. I it does make me go what that like the Hanar apparently, like how many assassins did they have and how many people did they want to kill and like was it for good or bad reasons like well you just like do assassins have that regular a work I feel like people would notice after a while. <laughs> how long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I check my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyad jumps into the room. I thought it. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. Don't look at him. Also, I think this is a pretty good argument for him just being a tool type thing and not feeling the weight of the deaths that he commits. Pretend that it's not him necessarily who feels the weight. It's like the, you know, the employer. This is a good argument against that. Is that I think he's, as he's, he's like, as he's doing these like, these these killings it's slowly separating him from his family like i think it must be hard to like kill people and then come back and look loved ones in the eye you know like after a while you never mentioned this before why now when my wife departed from her body i attended to that issue i left kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles i have not seen him or talked to him since that's not the choice i expected why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Cole yet. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Cole yet. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. Also, he hasn't been trained his whole life. <laughs> Pain has. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. 
It doesn't seem right. My name. You should not respect it. Yeah. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they grabbed her body in sea lines. Waited it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. It's also triggered more in emotional circumstances, and even if his voice doesn't show it, this is obviously a very emotional moment, because we've had two memories just now in like the space of like 60 seconds. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him, a relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. And it's like, why me? And that's the memory that pops up. It's because this is a really, this is going to be very intense. And like, even if he doesn't know me very well, like I'm, he, he, so far he, he said the last time we chatted, right? That like, I'm the first friend he's made. If nothing else, this is besides the romantic overtures I've made, which seem inappropriate in this context because we're talking about his dead wife and like his estranged son, you know, so. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you meet But this me. is something that, like, you would want the support of those around you. Those you trusted. Ah, and I lied. We're gonna go do this one now. <laughs> no messages. That's, that's great. I'm glad. Wait. Um, I forgot. Let me, let me get out. Let me get out. I need to go talk to Joker. I think he'll have something to say. I actually should have talked to him after Grunts, too. I think that's that would have been better. I think he said something funny about Grunts, like puberty thing. But I, since I was on two Chanka, I did two of them in a row, you know? Oh, no, okay. Commander. Bye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Bye. Uh, no, here we go. And this is actually interesting, which I'm sure many of you know, but Thane's mission is one of two, only two, uh, personal, like, uh, personal missions that we do for our companions that doesn't involve any combat. Oh, look, we're right next to it. How convenient. Help Thane help get. Oh, well, Garrus is here too. Oh, oh, well, maybe we'll do Garrus's while we're also here. <laughs> because I can't stop myself. Uh, the other one is Samara's mission. These are two missions where they're basically investigative in nature and uh, charismatic in nature, persuasive in nature. Let's do the new appearance for Mordim. For this, obviously, we're gonna bring Thane, and basically whoever we bring, I don't think they actually follow us for Thanes, whoever we bring here is going to be extra. Uh, but Garrus's mission is t is not that way. Let's bring Smart. Garrus's mission involves beating people up. Missile launcher, perfect. I don't need anything else, ever. <laughs> I've found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Um... I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15-centimeter serrated blade. 
You humans are all racist. You're all racist. <laughs> that last one was a. Uh... Oh, this is an interesting thing. Where is it? Okay. Come on, let me. Okay. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. And this is what happens sometimes when you try to like over like buff a system. I think it's the similar things happen in American airports after 9-11 where it's just like, you know, oh we gotta have all this security and then actually like they still I'm Commander Shepard. Oh boy. This is my favorite. Welcome back. Oh hi, sorry. These stores are only Wait, 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 I forgot. Uh, I forgot. We offer an assortment. Bye. Thanks for of your time. Course, citizen. I forgot. Okay. <gasps> Sovereign's here. I can't believe I didn't have Sovereign buying this, buying that. Okay. All right, thing. We will go now. Um, but yeah, like you can like the there was like something that happened fairly recently where like they send people through like smuggling things on purpose, like undercover operatives essentially to test like airport security, and like something like ninety percent of them get through with like contraband materials. <laughs> so it's like all these extra security steps like you're only gonna catch the morons not the actual professionals where do I need to go for things uh, was it Faye? it was over here isn't it this is the most important mission in the game for me and I'm already like well for I don't know <laughs> I know I know there's like a there's like a there's like a kid, but well, it isn't. It's supposed to be a kid, but it's not actually a kid. Like, it doesn't look like one. Um, looks like a full-grown adult because they don't have children models in this game, but they like to pretend the full-grown adult models are teenagers sometimes. Anyway, you have to talk to him, rat or something. I have to talk to Bailey. How could I forget? Ah. <laughs> Anyway, also when I watched that old Mass Effect 2 video to try to remember, make sure I'd made the right decision, um, I had forgotten how bad the original game looked. <laughs> like, my Shepard looks absolutely nothing like this. I mean, she does vaguely similar, but like, this is, this is the model. This is basically the Mass Effect 3 model, which the Mass Effect 3 one did look better. But even then, this is better than the Mass Effect 3 one. Like, obviously, one would hope, you know? But, uh, wow, I did, like, I forgot how bad the hair looked in that game. It's just not great. It's not great. But this is, I'm even more grateful for this. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired This him. is bold. It should be easy. We don't see many drill here. That's just bold. We're just gonna get him in trouble. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. Mouse. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Not Rat, Mouse. Mouse. Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to put a lid on my coffee, so I stopped drinking it. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of I'm you. flattered. Me? <laughs> yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to read <laughs> I love that. You know, it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> what was it you called, Mouse? The duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Rough. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you're oh, talking. Ha, ha, ha. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. 
If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. <laughs> oh, these guys. Oh, these manly men. Fathers. Hurry, then. Father instincts. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. Uh, he's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Of course. Like, for reals. <laughs> don't trust a cop. Don't trust him. We do trust Bailey, though. As far as we can throw him. Level 28, is that... Oh, I think I need to go up for that, actually. Yes, I'm gonna go over here. Actually, Sam bringing Samara was a terrible idea. Oh my gosh. Technically, Samara <laughs> would probably kill Kolyat on sight. Good thing she doesn't actually do that. Because she's one of those... Oh, we, we're trying to track criminal underground. This is a terrible... This was a terrible idea. I'm actually gonna switch her out. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> we're going to do deal with the criminal underground and try to do so stealthily and that's not something she would she would do at all. We're gonna bring Kasumi. <laughs> Again, not that it matters. It's not like it changes anything. Cause we don't we don't need help. Hey look if I had just paid attention at the beginning of the <laughs> the intro, then I would have known to go to CSEC, but I'm an idiot. Also, to be fair, my journal doesn't say that. Okay, see, it says, travel to the dawn, search for someone who knows about the name sun. You didn't tell me, you just said sit it out. You should write it down, because I have the memory of a goldfish. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, I understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. He's a bad... I just need a bit more He's time. a bad, um... It's not my fault. Crime criminal. He told me the package was in two parts. Yeah, I know. If he doesn't, get it. Don't if he worry. doesn't even know we're back here. here. No later. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. Give me a shepherd, VI. Mouse. What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a minute. <laughs> 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 oh, it's iconic. How do you know Thane? Krios. He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because the people I work for, ooh, ooh, yeah, no. they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse. I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward, Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Oh man, I missed my chance for the Shepherd VI. I thought it would still be there. No. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I 
live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. Couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Uh, Head back to Bailey. She's like, well, let's not talk about that. I'm gonna just gonna avoid that like the plague. Shep's not perfect. Oh boy. I was hoping to get all this in one video, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And I was correct. We did not have time for everything in one video. But thank you all so much for watching. We will pick right back up next time. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rescalito, my sapling tier patron, and Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. Once again, thank you so much for everything. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.